Yep, as Lucy said, um, Beth and I work at the Verve, um, in the Verve project and the Pitt Rivers Museum. Our other colleague Josie couldn't actually be here today, um, but we all work on the same <coughs> um, side of the project. So it's a five-year project and we are finishing the fourth year going into the fifth year. So we're quite a long way through. It's primarily um, HLF funded and uh, there are two parts to the project. Um, one side is to improve the displays, the uh, objects in the museum, and uh, redo the interpretation. And the other side is what we're going to talk about today, which is the public en engagement side, um, and also working with non-visitors. Okay, so the first project we're going to talk about is uh, the one that I enjoy doing the most, which is Meet Me at the Museum. Um, and it's a museum-led, dementia-friendly group um, and it meets monthly to explore and engage with our museum collections. Um, we work with the Joint Museums team and with Helen Fountain, um, and she's supported us a lot through it, and then we're just about to start our second lot on our own, so we're sort of fledgling and we're looking forward to the next bit. Um, but we work with the Creative Dementia Arts Network um, through what's called the Flourish Programme, and it's, um, it's sessions that encourage older people, and particularly those living with dementia and their carers, to come and access the museum. So it's some of our, um, generally what you might think of as our our non-visitors that are, are coming in and working with us. Um, to create continuity with each of our sessions, um, we have the same format. So we do object handling, and we go on a museum tour, and then we do some sort of art-based activity. And these are some of the lovely people that take part in them, including um, Charlie there, who's um, working with them on an iPad-led um, animation pro project. Um, the whole point of the Meet Museum Museum is that it's a co-production project, so <coughs> the um, people um, who take part and participate in the group are also very much involved with our final outcomes and outputs. Um, and so our last um, exhibition um, was a co-production um, called Around the World and Our Treasures, and it's still available to go and view in the museum up until the end of October. <coughs> Um, and it's um, objects that they've brought into the museum, which are from around the world, that are significant to them, that give them opportunities to um, sometimes reminisce about the objects, but also to share their stories with other people, which helps to kind of empower and give confidence. Some of the things that um, Carly was talking about with the, um, the young leaders earlier are similar things that you, we find with this group as well, and, um, and indeed what Nicola was saying as well about empowerment and confidence as well. Um, the co-production element, is this is the um, exhibition, is incredibly important to us because it gives us an opportunity to um, provide a platform for other voices within our museum so that we see how other people might interpret our space but also how that then gives them the confidence to share their objects with us as well. What I think about the PRM is that it's a really great place um, to actually have these um, dementia-led sessions or these sessions because everyone has an equality of knowledge in the PRM because most people that come into the museum, or certainly when I first started working at Pitt Rivers, I didn't know a lot about the objects that were on display. And actually, that means that having a memory or being able to access those memories is not as, um, as important. So it actually makes everyone part of the active learning rather than it being about um, one person being able to share their memories and maybe highlighting those people who actually aren't able to access those memories in the same way. Um, so it gives the carers the confidence and, and and um, ability to, to take out their, their person with dementia, who's living with dementia, into, into some environments that they might actually find problematic or challenging um, in everyday life. Um, the next series of dementia that we're doing um, starts in October, so we're working with Young Dementia UK, um, which is um, people living with dementia who are under 65, and we're continuing our Meet Me at the Museum group. Um, and um, we're hoping to uh, explore further the co-production element of, of the programme. So on from Meet Me at the Museum to Pit Fest, which a lot of you might have actually heard of or seen or uh, seen it on the Natural History Museum's lawn. Um, it's, our, um, 20, it's our 2016 fourth Pit Fest. So we've done this four times now um, and it's an outdoor um, annual celebration targeted at the general public, um, which is a celebration of creativity and ingenuity and which rep is represented within the Pitt Rivers collection. Um, each year the theme is slightly different. It involves um, a mix of workshops, um, hands-on demonstration, food, um, live entertainment. Um, the project, what's lovely about the project, it's not just about um, staff putting on events um, from the museum. It's all about um, every, um, having volunteers and um, staff from around the country, from different museums, coming and being part of the celebration. 
Um, and this year, despite the rain, we had 2,000 visitors, although it was a bit soggy putting the, uh, the tents away at the end, but we got through it. Um, so one of the things that we're looking to do is make sure that we make a long-term, more sustainable solution for Pitfest um, after the Birth Project ends, sadly, next year. Over to Millie. Okay, so um, some of our posters going on at the moment, these are the takeover events we have at the museum. This is where young people are inspired by the collections and um, put in an event for their peers. Um, so we're really trying to collaborate with young people and not just um, dictate what they're going to do. So we've had a whole range of events. We've worked with the Migration Society, um, Matthew Arnold School, um, also Brooks Anthropology Society and within the um, university as well. Um, but just <coughs> Uh, one kind of learning point that we've come across is that young people really do have good ideas. They have great innovative ideas, but that we, as the museum, we need to make sure that they know about the parameters that we work towards, such as scale, event, health and safety, sort of um, the things we have to think about when we're putting on events. But we've, we've um, had about nine events over the last four years, and we hope to continue working with lots of different people um, for our last year. That is us. Thank you.